G'day, in today's video I've got a HP Envy X360 with a model number 15CP0010AU. And what I'm doing with this one is opening it up to replace the NVMe drive in there. So to begin with, we're going to need to take off this strip here, which is mostly depleted on this particular one. So if I grab this, pry it up, use a Phillips head screwdriver to take out those screws. One, two, three, and four. Then I also have a T5 screw located at the front here. I don't actually believe there's many more screws here. There may be a couple more hidden under this strip, which I would say there is. I can kind of feel something over here. There we go. Two more. Go. Here, I should be able to lift it up. Yep, nice and easy. Go. Looking inside, we have one battery, one hard drive, a removable charger port going to here. And more importantly, we're going to be looking here, which I believe under this shield. Under the shield, there should be an NVMe drive and possibly some RAM. So right now we've got a single stick of RAM in here. We will disconnect the battery first before changing that. One screw. Two screw. Three. Four. Five. Six. It does contain enough screws to lift up and out. So now we have a battery disconnected. It's a bit odd how that was slightly trashed bent up. I would assume it should live like that. So the upgrade RAM is relatively straightforward. Once we're at this location, we should be able to pull these metal tabs out like that. And that's lifted up. The RAM comes out. Notice there's a notch here and here. So what we've got to do is put it in on a 45 degree angle, push down, and that will be installed. This stick here is a single 8 gig running at 2400 or 2400 megahertz. So put this back in. If you match the size, the capacity, and the speed in the other slot, you'll get a slight performance boost as well. So definitely worthwhile doing. But now the main event, which is the NVMe drive over here, which is held in by a Phillips head screw. Same theory as the RAM, should lift up and out like so. And this one I think might be an M side, just going by the key that's on here. And that will be now getting replaced with a crucial 500 gear. So now I'll be installing this one here. Slides in, pushes down, screw goes back in. From here they have to use some cloning software to clone from the old drive to the new drive or you'd be doing a fresh reinstall of Windows 10 or 11. Now let me put this back over. There is these little tabs dotted around. Here, 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 so on. Just line them up and that shield should cover them or fall into that position. There. Push down. There we go, clicking into position. And that's now installed. You can also upgrade the one or the 2.5 inch drive over here if you do so choose. But I'm not needing to do that today. And we'll put the battery back in. There, push down. Now we're gonna put those six screws back in. And 
from here I'm going to use a Kronos True Image to reinstall the operating system, oh, to clone over the operating system. But typically I'd just go for fresh reinstall, especially if you've only just got the laptop. Okay, looking good. Now if we put that cover back on. Uh, not seeing any tabs at the front. We'll push the front end first. And work my way to the back. There we go. Time to put all these screws back in. across here and we've got the T5 screw at the front to do as well. With that you should have hopefully been able to upgrade the RAM in your HP 15P 15-CP 0010AU. This helps you and I'll catch you guys in another video. Just don't forget that T5 at the front down here. Bingo. Catch us later.